Patient safety is critically important to me. It became a, a theory of being critically important when I was in college. I had a professor that told us, you know, if we made a mistake in our testing or in the reporting of the results, we could, we could be responsible for the death of a patient. I heard that in theory when I was still in school. And then when I moved into working and managing in healthcare and laboratories, I learned how some of our processes are not as reliable as we need them to be and how easy it is to make mistakes. I made mistakes. Making a mistake that got all the way through to a patient uh, brought patient safety to life for me early in my career. In healthcare, we really are not transparent like you would see in some other industries, like the aviation industry. They're not perfect. And you will hear every day about near misses and what the FAA learns when they do investigation. And so the work that the patient safety movement is doing to bring transparency to healthcare, not just the numbers, but the, the human impact, focus on the stories, the things that have gone wrong, as well as the summit where you bring people together, where we work together to learn from each other, um, distill best practices. And so I really love the community of people coming together, being transparent, being honest, getting to the truth about what went wrong and why it went wrong so that everybody that's part of the community can learn from that and get better. Every single person is a consumer of healthcare at some point in time either they themselves or their family will be a consumer of healthcare. I encourage others to learn more about the patient safety movement and contribute to the patient safety movement. And if you guys could play a part in making that accessible to every single person who does the work, then I think we can go a lot faster in closing the gaps.